everybody and welcome back to my channel. I don't know what the hell that was and welcome back for a brand new video. It's been a sweet minute since I've actually sat down and filmed a sit down video. So I'm starting the game off strong with, I'm just moving that back, a home bargains haul. Is it in a home bargains bag you ask? If you are asking, no, no it is not. Am I going to constantly be going like this? Yes, because I'm back in the swimming game and I love it. God, my neck is struggling. <laughs> but me, my mum and Emma went to Home Bargains today. I will try and link the vlog when it's up. Either you'll see this before or you'll see the vlog first. Not sure, but I'll try and link it in the description. It was great fun. This has got my mum's stuff in it, which some of it's for me. Um, and then the rest of the stuff that I got. This was the least I've ever spent in Home Bargains. Ever. The idea, take a reusable bag, Lily. And I gave Emma a piece of furniture for my room, which meant I found this really cute Primark reusable so it's got that bloody bambi on it we're just gonna pick things out from the bag um there's quite a few bits in here and i'm very excited so the first bits are foodie bits and they are going to work we got a pack of the golden wonder crisps because i'm not so sure how i feel about sausage and tomato not sure how i feel about it but i really like the idea <coughs> pardon me of roast chicken and smoky bacon so like, that is the majority reason why i picked this up but we'll give them sort of tomato a go um my mum then got me two packs for these because sainsbury's doesn't have them they're a pound each i think they were um and they're great for chucking in my lunch um bag for work um what else oh this is my mum's emma got some as well health point spectacle and lens wipes I don't wear glasses, but my mum does. Um, what else is food bits for work? Wagon wheels. Every time I pick up a pack of these, I think of Wild Child. It's kind of making me want to watch Wild Child. I can't lie on Disney Plus. Um, okay. My mum and I both picked these up. We were queuing for these. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure these are the ones one of my old colleagues used to have. Tomato and oregano. Um, bruschetta. Snack central. Um... So I'm pretty sure this is what she had. If not, they still look really nice. They're vegan friendly. Um, I believe they seal back up um, once she's opened them. But yeah, that's what they look like apparently. And I'm definitely going to be tasting, taste testing them in a vlog. Um, but the idea of them sounds absolutely delightful. I cannot lie. Um, well, yeah, we'll stick with food bits for now. Okay, on the unhealthy end of the spectrum, I picked up two boxes of their sweets. So, because these are so ch uh, cheap, they're like £1.79, I think. So, this is just the gummy mix, which looks a bit like that. The only ones I don't like the look of are the strawberries. But other than that, I think that looks like a pretty decent selection of sweets. And then, of course, I had to pick up the fizzy version. However, I don't like watermelons, um, like the watermelon tasting ones. So, my mum's going to have those. But for like a tub this big, you really cannot grumble can you you really cannot so like that's under a fiver obviously for two boxes of sweets so we love that um what else oh yeah so one of my favorite tins they did have four for four no three for four pounds but we just decided to pick up this one um spaghetti bolognese behinds i know some of you are probably looking at me going you're grim trust me when i tell you this is one of my favorite quick and easy dinners and it's really filling um, and then, so that was my mum's haul of stuff, I think. Yeah, every the rest of it is mine. So we'll stick with food items. I don't know whether this is the right stuff to be getting. So don't, any of you healthy people, please do not come at me. Um, if you've got any nice, friendly tips, then please let me know about protein. But I saw these and I wanted to give them a go. So um, they are the Novo Protein Pops, basically like pop chips. Um, sour cream and onion flavour. There seems to be a fair few in there, so I'll probably spread that over two trips. They're gluten-free as well, never fried. And then I also picked up the barbecue flavour, and this one is vegan-friendly, the barbecue ones. So I just thought I picked them up. They were like less than a pound per packet, so I was like, you know what? We're going to give them a go because I need snacks. Oh, I am going to take fruit as an alternative snack as well after swimming but sometimes i just need something um that won't go all funny in the locker um i got these because they're in waitrose on offer and on all the other supermarkets but these were a pack of this was 1.99 so if i like these when i go next month i will definitely stock up it's the na a naked i'm assuming that's the kind of brand name raw fruit and nut bars blueberry muffin 
Now that sounds amazing, so I love myself a blueberry muffin. If you watch my food hauls or my vlogs, you'll know I pick up blueberry muffins from Mike Joe's quite a bit. I think this is obviously naturally supposed to be a healthier version. And the idea of this after a swim sounds amazing, so I'm really hoping I like these. I'm going to taste test it once I've been swimming and let you guys know what I think. Um, so I've never been like a protein gal before. Vitamins. Um, I got my mum's advice. Um, I'm just a girl. <laughs> So I've got multivitamins and iron, and then this is calcium and vitamin D. Because um, we all know vitamins help. Yes, I see all these brand deals on TikTok. These were like, not too bad, I don't think, the price-wise. Um, so yeah, um, you can never, never go wrong with those. But obviously, I need to be careful with the medication I'm on, and I know those ones are fine. For any of you wondering. Um, okay. So we'll stay on like health, health is wealth, um, and beauty and kind of stuff. So once again on the swimming mantra, my other uh, bar salts need to go in the bin, but I'm going to keep the scoop. And this is the Dead Sea Collection Lavender Reviving and Calming 100% Natural Dead Sea, sea Bar Salts with Lavender Oil. I love the scent of lavender, call me a grandma, I don't care. I think it also reminds me of my grandma ironically because she loves lavender scented things. Oh my god quite overpowering actually um, and I just can imagine a nice long soak in the bath after swimming and I cannot even express to you how excited that makes me so I'm probably going to test these out on Tuesday you get a hefty tub like, this is going to last me a while um, so yeah dissolve a quarter of a jar in warm bath soak for 20 minutes and rinse with warm water rest for an hour or two before proceeding with normal routine mm. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, these were under £2, I think. Oh no, they weren't. I think they were 2 99 But for a big jar like that, you get a lot of product. So I can't complain. Um, more like beauty, health bits, I guess. I've got some Vicks in hazel, nasal stick. Nasal stick, once again, this is so much cheaper in home bargains. This is great because I work with children. I'm a childcare practitioner and I'm constantly snotting out. I'm constantly feeling poorly. This is going to be my saving grace. That will be going in my work bag. Because I know they work. Okay. I've got two manual toothbrushes. Why, you may ask. One to help clean my hair brushes. <laughs> and one just as like a quick and easy toothbrush that I can just pop in my toiletries bag whenever I go and stay somewhere. Because I just have a fear of leaving my electric toothbrush behind. And they are expensive. These cost me 39p. For me, personally, in my situation... Personally for me, before anyone comes at me, because trust me, I've been getting some messages. And they're not very pretty. So I feel like I've got to defend myself over toothbrushes. The 39p for me, I find it a lot easier. For me, can you keep on keep, keep saying? For me personally, I find it a lot easier to replace a 39p toothbrush than a 30, 40 pound electric one. Call me crazy. Um, but yeah, so I picked those up. One for when I go away and one to clean my hair brushes. Um, I then got the thing that I actually went in for, mainly, with these. I use this nail polish remover to get, because it's literally like 80% acetone, which is perfect, is what I need. Um, and it's in the pump bottle, which is just so handy. I've gone through one since I last went to Home Bargains, and this is my current one in my nail drawer. She looks a bit empty. She's not got long left, I don't think, so got two brand new ones i use this because when i put press on nails because if you're wondering these are press-ons i got from primark quite recently and i absolutely love them um but i use what do i use i use a nail file to buff my nails and then i clean them with acetone nail polish remover because it helps get rid of excess oils and stuff and just dirt on your nails so when you glue your nails on they should last pretty damn well if you use a good glue um okay i think that's it so I'm going to go on to Mother's Day bits because I only got three things, which is another reason why I went in. So I got my grandma her Mother's Day card. I absolutely love it. I just think it looks beautiful. It's definitely something my grandma... If you have watched my channel for a long time and you're familiar with my grandmother, you will know this is right up her street. And then my mum actually chose... And if you want to know, Home Bargains, this was 79p, so their cards are pretty decent. Um, I don't think that's actually bad at all. I think it's really pretty. Um, and then this one my mum actually chose without realising... And she also knows about her other present, but at least I know she likes them. Um, because if you didn't know, we're a massive dog family in my family, and it says, Wishing you the most perfect Mother's Day. I'd rather get her a card that she'll appreciate rather than a card that she may not. I think like she'll appreciate any card, but 
you know what I mean. And then I got my mum once again, I showed her this because it's a decent sized mug and my mum is very fussy with her coffee mugs. I was about to say tea mugs. Who am I even, who am I talking about? My mother, who am I even talking about? My mother drinking tea? No, she's a fully, full on, full caffeine coffee kind of gal. Um, but it just says, just another manic mum day. Our life for the last three to four months, especially, has been incredibly manic. The last three, four years has been actually pretty crazy, um, which I'm going to touch on in my mental health video, which is coming. Um, so it was very poignant for a start. And also, I think it's a pretty mug. And as my mum says, it's a really decent size. I don't actually know how much this was, but it wouldn't have been too dear because home bargains. Um, but yeah, getting something to help my mum fuel her caffeine need. Is always going to get me in her good books um okay and just some odds and sods to be honest easter we'll go to easter first because there's a few bits in here from east like their easter collection this just had to come home with me i don't know what it was maybe the fact it was baby pink or maybe the fact it had a really cute bob bob day um but yeah once again i said this year oh, i'm really gonna go and get some cute easter bits for my room did i did i but I think this is really cute, really simplistic. I can literally hang it anywhere. And I think, yeah, it's really, really sweet. So they had a lot of colors, but I went for baby pink, of course. Um, and then I picked this guy up, a bit random, but I think you always have a random purchase from Home Bargains. Actually, if you have shopped in Home Bargains before, which I'm sure a lot of you have, because of how well my Home Bargains videos goes down with you guys, let me know in the comments what your most randomest purchase from Home Bargains was, Home Bargains is, or was, because this is probably one of my most random impulsive purchases. It's a wooden white rabbit, quite rustic looking, and I love, I love Flopsy. We're gonna call him Flopsy, why not? Classic bunny name, but yeah, I really like this. Once again, really inexpensive, and I don't really want a lot of Easter in my room, I cannot lie. Um, but I will go as far as that. And then the last Easter thing, me and Emma picked up. So if you've got young kids, or you just want to entertain yourself because you're a young soul at heart, like myself and Emma, then this is definitely something you should look at because they had an incredible, and when I say incredible, I mean Easter range. Home bargains always smash it at such a low price point. So this was $1.99 and you get to decorate your own eggs. You get the paints, you get a paintbrush and two eggs for $1.99. I'm not saying the paint's going to be the best quality, but I'm saying this is going to be fun to do in a vlog, Easter themed. You get what I'm saying? Look, it's like a cute little... So if you're doing your children or your friend's children or whatever, a hoppy basket. That's what, I think that's what they call it on TikTok. This could be perfect and so affordable as well. Even for like the Easter break when your kids are on holiday and you need them to do something other than irritate you. This could be your, this could be your save, saving grace. Okay. And then we've got some stationery, of course. Would it be me without some bits and pieces but another random purchase but i want i've wanted a new one for ages i don't even think that come on. oh yeah just because they had solid sort of like i want to say china but they weren't china but it's just one of their toothbrush holders and it's like a plastic one and it's quite simple to be honest how crazy a toothbrush whatever whatever you want to put in this feel free but i really like the gray one the white one i could just see getting dirty way too quickly so i picked that up to transform my toothbrush storage <laughs> and if you, i have an address i'm in my pajamas um come at me i am comfy i had to top up my makeup i messaged brooke love you babes and i'm like i cannot be asked to film but i want to i want to film these videos but i was half asleep i didn't fall asleep but i almost did and i still have a charm top on myself you know what i'm gonna film in my comfies who cares okay i digressed I got some more felt tip pens because if you know and you've watched my channel i keep saying that but i have to refer to this because this may be the first video you clicked on who knows i doubt it but you never know um i have really got into my coloring like my mindfulness book coloring is just a really great form of therapy for me emma has the mother load of felt tip pens like they are stunning um and i will get similar pens at some point but until then we're on a bougie budget i say bougie bougie on a budget so um i've had these before they're amazing and i'm going to keep them in their case because the worst thing i ever decided to do was take them out of their case these are really really nice i really like these um and then i got another well, my mum very kindly got me the crayola super tips i've had these before once again and i'll keep my other ones until they run out but they are some of them have seen better days 
So, yeah, very happy with those. And then the last three items, if you love Harry Potter, get ready to eat your heart out. My mum pointed these out. They, would, they were very impulsive, but clearly people have felt the same because they ransacked that area. There was like seven left at a push. Let me just remind you, Home Bargains is one of the best shops for random, quirky, and also soul-securing purchases. In this case, this was a soul-securing purchase. <laughs> okay. They are... What are we calling you? They are just like miniature Harry Potter figures. My hair's already attached to Draco Malfoy. Am I complaining about that? Not at all. Um, but yeah. These were retail for £7. Did Home Bargain sell them to me for £7? No, they did not. And I'm really happy. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get three. One. Sorry. It's just taking me a minute to digest. The Home Bargains have done this for us Harry Potter fans. And you may think I'm crazy. You may call me a freak. But when it comes to Harry Potter, I don't care. $1.99 a piece. A piece. I was going to get the Harry one. However, the mouse looked a bit funny. If you've watched the vlog, you'll see my mum's impression of it. Absolute class. But I have already got Harry somewhere over there. As like, it's like a rubber. But I've used them as like decorations from a Harry Potter shelf. However, these are going to be dotted around my room. I have got... The one, the only, Rubius Hagrid. The bad boy that everyone hated to love. Draco Malfoy. And then, who I consider myself to have such a resemblance to, personality-wise, as you will probably agree after the fact that I nearly had a mental breakdown over the fact that I picked these up. What an absolute gem. However, I'm not putting this one on my bezel camera because if I turn over and see that semi like at like half five in the morning i think i may actually scream um however luna is one of my favorite characters if you ever wanted to know and i resembled her so much and she gave me so as i was younger watching the character and even the actress i love the actress herself but the character that was formed owning her quirkiness owning her weirdness and not giving a shit about it um, it may have taken me four or five years to um, adapt to that mentality, but we're getting there. So yeah, I'm so happy. One ninety nine. And I realise I've just spoken about these for four minutes, I think. But... Oh, I feel so happy. So yeah, ending the haul on an absolute high. But yeah, that is everything I picked up from Home Bargains. And you know what? Going through it has all really cheered me up. Um, so yeah. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. I know such a generic thing to say, but it means a lot. It does mean a lot. Um, I'm now going to film my payday haul because that will be going up before this one. So make sure you checked it out because it was payday three days ago. So it's not too bad. I can't believe I had to actually take time to figure that out, Lily. Get a grip. Um, but yeah, I need to film that. So I'm going to get cracking with that one. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you're all doing well. But let me know in the comments what your quirkiest or most impulsive purchase was. Um, in Home Bargains. Because I would love to know that people are on the same level as me. So yeah, I'll see you in my next vlog or video. Whichever one you watch first.